And that you your and this fifteen thousand volts. What to these? What's up, guys? I am down here at Spokane Create in what is known as the Mod Pod. I said in the last video we're gonna break into Arduinos. We have these right here. These are specific Spokane Create Arduinos. Uh, one of the members uh, had printed for us and they have them in two different versions, a 16 megahertz and a 20 megahertz version. That's about all I can tell you guys about them so far. It requires this nifty little adapter thing. I, I don't even know the name of it uh, in order to power and to communicate with it. So you guys are gonna take this journey with me, I guess, and we're gonna see where it goes. All right, so I'm sorry about the flicker here. I am not sure how to fix that. It doesn't do it when I'm over here, but I'm guessing it's related to the LEDs. But anyways, so here is the first step is going to arduino.cc. I went ahead and went to download and then went ahead and downloaded the Arduino software for Windows. So we'll go ahead and get this opened and installed. Next on here, uh, let's go ahead and, I don't know, I guess play around. I'm not, I don't really know what we're doing with it yet. Uh, I'm assuming there is the standard blink protocol on there already. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'll let you guys watch as I dig around. All right, so there we go, examples. So let's go ahead and load basic and there it is, blink. So on this, I'm not sure what pin the LED is connected to. I'm guessing that's it right there. How about we just do it and find out? So that's just verifying the code, I'm guessing, not whether or not this Arduino is correct, I guess. All right, let's just do it and see if it works. It did not. Hmm. One of the best things about Spokane Create is the group itself. So let's call in some reinforcements and see if we can figure this out. Are you busy? No. Do you know Arduino stuff? Kind of. I do. You do? Yeah, what's up? Would you like to help me with this? Uh, what, what do you need done? I'm literally trying to do the Blink program. What's your name? Spencer. Tyson. Tyson. Good to meet you. I got the Arduino program. I, I don't know anything about that thing. It's a 16 megahertz uh, Arduino board. Okay. And that's all I know. Try going to tools, I think. Tools. Okay, then go port. Port. Try COM3. I'm pretty sure that's not what the Uno is. Atmel Mega A328P. How about Arduino Mega or Mega2 uh, 2560? Try that, yeah. Let me... And just try and try just try and upload it again? See yeah, if it goes? see what it does. And if not, you should try port for COM5. Usually it would upload by now. So yeah, I was going to say, this is a really small program to take this long. Try COM5 instead. Okay. We will go upload again. Upload problem, same thing. Well, since we're already on that board, we might as well switch to five and see if that works. Upload. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh! I recognize it, so that's definitely COM5. I don't know if it's set to the right board. But yeah, but so we're getting progress. Oh, now the light went out. Timeout communication with programmer. Okay, let's try the Uno. Upload. It's still uploading. I'll, uh, I'll look for that extra board. I I'll keep on. going through the boards until then. Yeah, all right. Nah, it failed. I'm gonna keep flipping through the boards, but we'll get this. And that that is one of the beauties of Spokane Create. It's just a collective of people willing to help. I did not know him 10 seconds ago, and he's awesome. So uh, we're gonna keep going on this. Let's get this figured out. Do you know what uh, board this needs to be set on to program it by chance? I'm trying to program it, and I literally just load the blink. Oh, we have an instruction sheet. Um, oh, yeah. Let me, let me okay, it. yeah. All right, so apparently, 
There's instructions. Who knew that? So Nate went to grab the instructions right now, and he's gonna help me get this figured out. I thought that this had it on it, but it just has the pin out for this. Yeah. So that mega three twenty eight. Would, I think that's what's on an Uno. Did you I tried Uno and didn't get anything. Well, we got there. We got the power light, but then it failed, or it just kind of hung there. I think. That might be backwards. Yeah, it's gotta go that way. Oh. So let's go ahead and see if we can change the blink rate. There we go! Hey! It worked! It worked! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome. Thank you! Sweet! That is awesome. Apparently it helps to have it plugged in the right direction. Alright, so now that uh, we've got it to blink, I feel like the logical next step would be SOS. So let's see if we can get it to do SOS. Okay, so we'll call, we're gonna call 500 uh, milliseconds here a dash. So this is going to be a dot. So dot, dot, nope. I think in order to do it correctly, I don't know proper SOS protocol or code or whatever you want to call it. The dashes or the, the off time of the LED needs to be the same. Uh, so the off is going to be 500. The dots will be 250 and the dashes will be 500. So we've got dot, dot, dot. Dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Nope, that didn't work out. Dot, dot, one more dot, and we're done. Okay, so this should do it. Let's go ahead and verify. Compiled just fine. Let's go ahead and upload it. It's working, we're doing it. So you can see here, dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Clearly I was wrong about the off time because it doesn't sync up right, but we'll fix that. Let's, I think we gotta get out of here right now, uh, but let's finish it up when we get home. A few moments later. We're gonna pick up where we left off because we had to get out of there. They only go until about 8.30. Sometimes we run late until about nine, but it was coming up on that time, so it was time to go. Uh, so before I go to bed, I want to finish rectifying this SOS pattern I had going. Uh, it wasn't quite right. I, it, it worked, but like I said, the dashes were not off long enough or sorry, they're off too long. They're all the same. So it made it hard to tell. So this is the pattern right here that we had going. It's not very distinct between the dots and the dashes. So I'm going to try and, uh, Make it so the dashes are the equivalent length of the dot, or sorry, that the off time is the same as the on time on these. I'm also going to add a pause at the end, uh, at the very last line. For anyone who doesn't know, SOS is dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. So repeating, it, it's kind of hard to differentiate the beginning and the end sometimes. So I'm going to add a... Uh, pause at the very end of the program that it runs and then I'm also gonna make it so that the off time is the same as the on time for the dots and the dashes all right so we are gonna do the 250 paste 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 all right so let's save this for one and then we'll compile it let's go ahead and upload it and see if we fixed it. Oh, no, wait, the last delay. Now let's upload it. Success! Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 pause. It works. How I told you guys we were gonna get into Arduinos, this actually isn't what I had in mind. Uh, this is something that was specifically made for Spokane Create by one of the users there. He made a couple of them. I just grabbed one there while I was there and started messing around with it and decided that was a good way to get into it. What I do have coming is a beginner's kit and it's got all, it's got some displays, it's an Arduino Uno and all types of good stuff. So instead of this being the first project, we might be able to move on to something a little more fun. So anyways guys, it was good doing another video for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much 
for all the support on the last video. That was my most popular one so far, and I'm absolutely blown away by the support I got from you guys. So thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe down below, and please, please remember to comment. Like I said, the reason I do this is for the community of it, the, the discussion, the geek talk. I absolutely love that. Also, you guys can add me on Google+. Plus. I'll include a link below, and add me on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash Tyson Coleman. So I will see you guys in the next video coming up shortly. Talk to you later.